how spring been so far? What's been like to be back in Louisiana for you? You know, I'm loving being back home. You know, it's a uh, you know, seeing my uh, family, you know, every other weekend and stuff like that, I just love it. You know, uh, I'm trying to, I'm just in the practice really well, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. What's been the biggest adjustment for you? Um, It's really not no big adjustment. You know, I played in the SEC for three years. I've seen it all. You know, I played against the same guys last year, so, you know, it's really no big adjustment. With so many of y'all, coming in from different places in that secondary, what is the, the process of just communication with amongst yourselves and with the coaches and um, getting up to speed on that? You know, um, just being in the film room, uh, taking everything seriously, you know, um, off the field we hang out with each other, so I feel like that builds chemistry and helps us out on the field, you know, and uh, when we in the team, uh, DB room meeting with each other, we take everything serious, we communicate when every play comes on, so I feel like we're doing that real well. With so many guys from the last year's secondary, you know, uh, I feel like it brings a lot of experience, you know, uh, we definitely needed it, you know, um, but I feel like as a whole, we're doing great, you know, even the young guys stepping up, guys like Sage, Ryan, you know, all of Derek, da uh, Derek Davis, all those guys, you know, uh, we all stepping up. Yeah, you know, uh, we like to keep everything competitive, you know. You know, it's all love between the offense, but once we're on that field, it's, it's competitive. No matter what we do, it could be a simple, you know, a uh, simple tag off drill. We're competitive each and every play. Is that a hard adjustment? Did you have that at Arkansas? Uh, yeah, we had it at Arkansas. It was like that, but we couldn't talk as much at Arkansas. <laughs> Which of the wide receivers has been the hardest for you to handle? Uh, Malik Neighbors. By far, we go at it every day. Me and him, I just only pray. Him and Jack Best are the only two people I want to go against every day. Who's the best trash talker? Malik Nick. <laughs> <laughs> when you played at LSU in you know, Arkansas, what, you know, was your sort of, uh, what did you take away from the atmosphere, like, you know, playing in that battle? You know, uh, my freshman year was probably the best experience one. That's the year they won the national championship. So um, I was like, damn. It's just, you know, but being on the right side now, so I, I, I love it a lot. I'm on the right side now. Was it really a fun experience because they were in the score? Nah, nah, not at all. But, you know, um, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> been with this new coaching staff? I know that you're new to the program, but just what you've experienced so far with them this spring? You know, um, they're harping on uh, building character, building uh, you know, a lot of discipline, you know, and I like that. You know, good discipline teams win a lot of games, as you can see at Notre Dame. We've been to the playoff and every year, so, you know, I feel like he's, he's bringing in a lot of stuff for us, and I feel like we're going to do good with it. Oh, that's my dude. You know, um, we were roommates at Arkansas. We were roommates here. You know, um, you see him, you see me. You see me, you see him. So it's a, uh, my brother for life. How much does that chemistry between the two of going to help this defense? You know, it's going to help a lot. You know, uh, he's on one side of the field. We don't play on the same side of the field, but it's going to help a lot. What were those conversations like between y'all two as this opportunity presented itself? Um, I'm sure it was some pretty exciting times. <laughs> Yeah, we knew we was going to the same school. No matter where it was, we knew we was going to the same school. When this one opened up and y'all realized y'all could both come to LSU, mm -hmm. um, take us through that. You know, um, we knew we, we, we got the offer the same day um, and everything. He committed before me. I was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I'm going to wait till the visit, woo -woo, and uh, that's when it happened. Because when you see guys like uh, Tyron Matthews just came by, uh, you know, catch me. I guess how important is it to carry the, 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 the monitor of the program has? You know, for sure. I, I talk to Tyron a lot, actually. You know, I look up I look up to him, you know, my favorite player. So we similar in size and stuff like that. So I try to take everything that he tells me, you know, and incorporate it into my game. Coach Kelly talked some about bringing guys like you and Joe back who are Louisiana guys and had kind of a, a sense of this program. What is the significance to you of wearing LSU on your chest now, and how much do you try to impart that to some of these, these other guys that are from elsewhere? You know, uh, it means a lot, you know, just being back home, you know, putting on for the state of Louisiana, you know, everybody from where you're from is watching, you know. So, like, 
I can't do bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, all my friends, they watching. They're going to get on me if I do bad. So it's just like extra motivation. I want, you know, everybody to understand that. It, it means a little different to you when, it, when you're home.